Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have finally an update on what's going to happen with Windows 11. If you're not compatible, what exactly is going to happen to the upgrade process? Well, we have news today, with uh, along with the two builds, or the build that actually was released for both Insiders and the Beta and the Dev Channel. We have a update that Microsoft has mentioned today. So first of all, uh, the company has added some seventh generation Intel processors to the list of supported processors. So some of you with seventh gen CPUs, Intel CPUs, will now go from unsupported to you are supported. That's the good news. The other good news is that if you are not compatible, Microsoft with an image of Windows, so if you use uh, download the Windows 11 image and then start install, when it's ready, it's gonna allow some of you that are not supported to still be there and be supported. So unsupported hardware that will work is um, if you have TPM 1.2, that will actually let you upgrade. So TPM 2.0 is the minimum requirement, but you got TPM 1.2, they're gonna let you go. The other requirement is that if you have a dual core 64-bit CPU, they will, if you have four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, probably let you go and still go into Windows 11. But once again, you'll have to install with the image of Windows. If you go to the setup uh, online when it's available, that's not gonna work. It's gonna say you're not supported. But via the image, it will. But it will tell you something. It will notify you that your upgraded device is in a unsupported state. That means you're gonna go through but you're, whatever that means, um, there's going to be that loophole available. So Microsoft is technically kind of relaxing the, uh, the features, letting uh, a lot of you still go to Windows 11, but kind of telling you, well, you might not be in a supported system, and we want to tell you that. So um, I think that's good news for those that couldn't go to Windows 11 because they're not supported, um, you will still be able, as long as you got TPM 1.2, 64 gigabit, uh, gigabytes of storage, 4 gigabytes minimum RAM, and a 64-bit dual-core CPU, you will move on with, you know, whatever the unsupported state means. One of the things it could mean is that at some point in time, you might not be compatible anymore or some new features might not work, depending on what you have. So there's a loophole that's gonna be available. Once again, only if you use the image of Windows 11 to install, and that will open up for a lot of people the uh, you know requirement for Windows 11. And of course, um, a few of you on the seventh gen are now supported officially after uh, some tests that they've done. But the official kind of minimum requirement is still remains the same, but with that added loophole that a lot of you will still be able to upgrade. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.